Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. I do knitting, crafting, crocheting. I mean, I crochet, but I haven't, I low-key have not made a crocheting video, but I should because I do crochet. Okay, anyway, we do lifestyle. We do all these types of videos. Um, and today we're doing a knitting podcast. It is number six, seven. I think we're one of those. And I'm just going to talk to you guys about things that I've been knitting, things that I've knitted, things that I want to knit. And then I guess yarn that I've bought. Um, so yes, <laughs> that is what we're doing. Uh, just an update. I have created a second channel, so it's just called Typical Bliss. Um, I'm just going to be keeping all of my previous Twitch streams on there just because I had a lot of comments, people saying uh, they wanted me to kind of keep my VODs up because they expire after two weeks on the Twitch streams, which I found really annoying. And I'm kind of sad that I didn't do it earlier, but better late than ever because uh, now you guys can go watch it whenever you want to. Um, but of course I love it when you guys come live because if you don't come I have no one to talk to and then the videos won't be as fun anymore. Um, but yeah, hopefully I can put more stuff on there. It just takes like 500 years. Why do I always use 500 years as a metric of being a long time? Um, it just takes a very long time to upload. So uh, be patient with me if they don't come up, I guess like right after the streams come up. Anyway, um, but yes, that is an update. Um, and oh my gosh, I'm going to say I'm a billion times in this video because for some reason it feels like it's been a really long time that I've talked in front of a video camera before. I need to start making videos again. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry, I have not been super active. October has been very, very busy for me. Um, just trying to finish off my certificate and it'll be done beginning of November. So hopefully I'll be posting more videos. I also want to do Vlogmas. I keep saying it, so I think I have to do it. I need to keep myself accountable. Um, so we'll be doing that. Um, also this month has been only whips October. Um, if you guys have been doing that with me, thank you very much because we be trying here. Um, if you guys know, I start projects left and right. I can't help myself and so I tried really really hard in October to just work on like whips that I've had and just kind of really really try to finish those um instead of starting new projects so I've been really good but the last like this week I failed I just was in a rut or something um so that's okay I think trying is all that matters and then um, as well, I'm trying to buy less yarn. So until like the end of the year, I'm going to try to like not splurge on any yarn, just kind of like be really responsible with my money. We're being Gucci, clean, amazing. Um, and then January, which is my birthday month, January 2nd. Hello, Cap Gang. Um, we will be splurging. So <laughs> hopefully it will all be worth it. Um, however, there'll probably just be like less yarn. In these videos which I hope is okay which will help you because you won't want to buy yarn either so we can get on with the video I think this is my project list that I have in my cute little petite knit book bag thingy um I just have like the September ones I've been crossing them off I've been really good and then October I only started two and I finished one already so I think I think we're good um don't know what the theme for November is I think the theme for November was just knitting my November jacket I think that was the cow but you guys you don't have to do with me because as someone told me the November jacket is the worst thing in the entire world because it's gonna take you forever okay anyway we'll start off with um, finished pieces right okay I'm wearing um, my inspired petite knit novice cardigan chunky version just wearing it feel really cute it's just something easy I can put on like over a basic t-shirt and I feel super cute and adorable and ready for the winter even though it's like raining outside and it's super gross and ugly um but we will, we will be gucci so i guess the first one i want to go to okay i don't know if this is quite finished yet so i this is my giveaway sweater i've added flowers to it but like only at the collar because i was like feeling it at the collar i'm thinking i might add more so we will be adding more and then hopefully making a video, like a whole dedicated video about it. I'm thinking of maybe adding some to the sleeves just because I was trying to do double a duplicate stitch and I don't know why, but it just wasn't coming out the way I wanted it to. So we just did some kind of like embroidery flowers, which I think are adorable, but I don't know if I should do it all the way. 
So I'm on the fence about it, but we will be sending this out with like by the end of this week or I will be very upset with myself. Um, but I'm very happy to see, to see this one off. <laughs> it has been with me for so long. I just need the giveaway winner to just uh, finally get to have this and wear it. Um, I plan on making a pattern for this as well. So uh, bear with me. It might take me a little bit because I always say I'm going to make patterns and then it never happens because they take a really long time to write and I'm very bad at pattern making. So, <laughs> okay. Next one. Okay, this one I was very proud of. I kind of put this one off to the side because I was like, this is so much work. Cables are so much work. Like, why did I do this to myself? Um, but I don't know where I was in the last video, in the last podcast, but I finished my beautiful Sweater 15 by My Favorite Things Knitwear. Um, gorgeous. I think I wore it in the mystery bag video, which was very, very fun. Um... But I actually, um, what is happening to my voice? It just sounds different. Okay, I actually unraveled it and then added an extra cable length here uh, for the sleeves, for both sleeves, because when I like finished it and then wore it, it was just, it was just too short. Um, I think my arms are just ridiculously long, so it came up to like here, and I was like, Ugh. but then uh, in the pattern it says that it, it grows a little bit, but. Uh, even then I thought with the growing I just didn't see it really getting to the length I wanted um, plus I was looking at other people who had made it and I was counting the cables on the sleeves and everyone had to, had had done 12 whereas I had only done 11 so I was like ah might as well just do an extra cable might as well have it a little longer um, we love her a lot I think I might we're gonna have to stretch this quite a bit like horizontally when I block it because this one I actually feel like I really need to block it hugs me kind of like in the waistline and I don't want it to hug me I would rather it have a more boxy fit so might have liked to do the medium instead of the small which I did the small um maybe I'm just a big girl um but this is all the yarn I have left like, I did not have, like, a lot of the mohair. I would have loved to finish off the mohair, but I think if I did do the medium, it would not have been enough. Um, and I just have a lot of the the merino, and I'm not too sure what to do. Again, Dusty Artichoke, uh, Knitting for Olive, if you guys uh, want to check it out. It is a beautiful color, um, and it feels really soft. I feel like this is one of my <laughs> nice, like, really nice pieces. Like, this is, like heavenly in so many ways in so many ways um it just feels really luxurious it feels like I'm really wearing like like a nice piece and I feel gorgeous in it um I will say the mohair pill not pills like it comes off really easily because I think it just has a lot of mohair um so that's when you know it's like some good, some good shit. So uh, like this one a lot. I love the collar. I did everything with uh, just a normal ribbing and then I did kind of like a pearl edging. I've said this before. I don't know why I need to say it again. Loved the back. I love, okay, I'm really, really picky about my shoulders. Um, I don't know why. I just have a very specific way that I like to do them. Um, and I really like the shoulder. The shoulder has a very nice increase to them. Um, so we love you and I'm so happy I finished it. I had been putting it off because the body just like is the most tedious thing ever. Like you don't understand having to do like a knit six pearl three and then having to cable and count. It's just, you like slowly wither away. But if you have the patience and if you have the dedication, I think this is a go-to. I really want to make the balaclava uh, in the cabled ribbing that she, not cabled ribbing, cable that she has. So then I have like a complete set of all of her <laughs> cables um, because I just really like them. I like, I like the look of just cable, 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 cable. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, I've been talking about this for way too long. There, I didn't have to talk about it for like 15 minutes. Okay. I think this is my only other finished piece. I guess another one. Okay. Anyway, this is my, I like, like last big finished piece, but 
billion years ago, billion, billion years ago in like the first podcast, I think I spoke about this one, but I finished guys, I finished, I finished my cumulus blouse. I know what was I doing? I don't know. Oh, maybe we'll, we'll try it on. I actually really like wearing it with a t-shirt on. I just think this color is so good. Like, can you see that? I don't know. It's gorgeous. It's everything. Oh, should I do another close up? I'll do a close up of this guy just so you can also see the color and you can see the pattern. Like, it can get really stretchy, which I really like, so I'm hoping it's gonna get bigger. Okay, why am I wearing it like this? Okay. But we are wearing this guy to, um, I don't know. I'm, I've just been into wearing it with like a high neck t-shirt, like a white one like this. Um, makes no sense, and, like no reason to be doing this, um, but I think, I look so cute in this. <laughs> Like, I initially, when I had put it away, I was like, I'm not going to wear it. Like, I don't think it's going to be cute. And I don't know why I kept thinking it wasn't going to be cute. Um, and then I just put my ego aside and was like, okay, I got to finish this one arm. And then I finished the arm really easy. And then I just did the second arm and it was so fast. I ended up um, taking off, like, the bottom. So I had finished the bottom, but then realized it was just way too short. Like, it came up to, like, my belly button and I was like... I need this to be oversized and baggy and beautiful. Um, I think I accidentally told a girl that I did a small, but I actually did a medium. So girl, I did a medium, PSA. <laughs> I did a medium in this one. Uh, whereas I usually knit smalls. I don't know why. I don't know why I chose to do the medium, but uh, I ended up doing that. I added about, um, I think I knitted it to the centimeter that she says in the pattern. I think I added about maybe like 10 centimeters. Um, just because I'm mean, just like a long person, <laughs> um, compared to PT knit, like, sorry. Um, but yes, I, in love, in love with this eye cord. Sorry, fell a little. Um, it just like, I don't know. It looks so good. I love eye cord now. I think I'm for sure going to be doing the cumulus tee. I think having like a v-neck... Um, shirt would be gorgeous. I really want to see if I can make it with my We Are Knitters recycled yarn because I have like the white or the natural color and I think that would be perfect for like the tee but I'm just a little afraid because that's Aran weight and I think it's like it calls for fingering for the the other one so we'll have to finesse it. We'll see. Maybe I could just use this pattern and do it with the recycled yarn and it would be like the same and I just stop it at the t-shirt here <laughs> um because I've seen some girls do it and like just tucked in like a t-shirt like I want to I've said this a hundred times and I'll say it again I want to replace all of like my shirts or just like you know just have like good shirts um but of course I need a shirt like this to wear over this like I couldn't wear like a knitted thing over a knitted thing does that make any sense okay anyway so I use the Diablo mohair in the color 33 and 32 sorry i don't know what the actual colors are called um but that's what it said on the the, the thingy i used i guess eight skeins so four of the dark one and four of the other one i have quite a bit left over um i was actually kind of scared that i had bought too much and i was like i don't want to have leftover you know i hate leftover um but i did need the fourth ones for each of the colors um, you probably, if you aren't mixing colors, you probably could have done with seven versus the eight that I used. Um, but nonetheless, I think I had to, the mixture of the colors was amazing. Um, yeah, I think I was knitting this halfway and I was like, oh, like, cause the composition, I don't remember, but it's, I think acrylic and mohair. And then once I started getting into mohair, I was like, ugh, like this isn't gonna be as nice. Like, meh, it's not gonna feel nice on my body. Like, it's not gonna be luxurious. I'm never gonna wear it. Like, kind of like gross, <laughs> gross thoughts in my mind. Um, but then I, I started knitting it again and fell in love, I think. Oh. Oh, like, I think I probably would not love this as much if this was mohair because it would be the most itchiest thing. Like, I feel like I could wear this, like, without a shirt 
kind of thing and be good. Um, it's, I feel like it's not going to pill. Um, I did find that it was kind of harder to knit with the acrylic. It kind of just like would stick together on my needles. Um, so it did make it quite difficult versus when you knit just with mohair, it feels a lot nicer. Um, but I think like this acrylic is a great, um, alternative if you don't like the feeling of, of mohair, like on your skin or, uh, like if you're allergic or kind of stuff like that, it's just like a lesser blend and it's cheaper. It's like way, 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 way cheaper. Cause I know mohair can get so expensive. <laughs> like I can't even get myself to buy like eight skeins. Uh, it just seems like too much. Um, like fives are always like my maximum when I get sweaters. Um, so great alternative. Hobby is great. I really like them. Uh, and this color is amazing. And I'm crying because I feel like, like, look at me. <laughs> like, I just look adorable and like, like so cute and innocent. I don't know. Is this who I am? I guess it is now. Um. Yeah, definitely go check them out. Um, I was very happy when I finished this one. You don't understand. Because this guy has been sitting with me for months. Um, so, wait. I'm going to look at my other projects. So, okay. Other things that I'm doing. Right. Okay. So, I ended up finishing the Bella socks, finally. Um, I ended up not doing the Pico Edge because... It was just frustrating me like way too much and like there was absolutely no reason why it was so difficult <laughs> um so i ended up just doing just like a ribbing just basic ribbing i love ribbing i think i'm so silly <laughs> to love it so much but i ended up doing kind of like a weird a weird ombre with this one and then this is the striped one i'm just gonna wear these as a pair i don't even care just wearing it wear it at home like ignore my PJ pants. Um, but yeah, they're very comfy. Um, I wish I could have done the edges a little bit, not edges, like I guess the heel, is that what it's called? Heel a little bit better, I think. Um, I wasn't quite used to the wrap and turn, wrap and twist, wrap and turn. Um, and then I also had a issue with changing colors. So uh, it's not seamless and I can kind of feel the knots in my feet and <laughs> that's definitely my my issue um and I'll just have to be better for my next sock if I ever try to do uh stripes so definitely be aware uh, switching colors is very particular very particular when it comes to socks um but I definitely want to make more socks I'm so cute um I actually and okay I made more socks okay what am I saying um I gotta find the socks first Please tell me I have them in this cart. No, I have to get up. I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I accidentally put this one on the stream. Okay, I didn't accidentally. I put this on the stream thinking that my friend wasn't going to watch it, but I knitted my friend's socks because... Because Christmas is coming. It's not, but it's coming. <laughs> And so I knitted just like a basic pair of socks um, using the Everyday Socks by Petite Knit. I got two done. Finished them so fast. Like if you want like a really quick, easy bing bang boom uh, pattern, I did this in like three days. <laughs> and I just think that they're such a basic like go-to. They fit the feet really nicely because Loki, my friend, and I have the same shoe size. Um, so I could like gauge and make sure, but I'll probably wash these before I give them to him so then I can block them because I'm not in love with how it folds funny, but it's really, really nice. Like, um, this is the German short row for the heel, basic ribbing, and then kind of the sock tip at the front. Um, I used Arweta in, I think, the light gray, heather gray or something. Um, I talked about it in like two videos ago, maybe. Um, and it's really nice. It's so nice. I want my own pair. Like, I don't even want to knit these for people. I just want them for myself so I can like replace all my like ugly socks that I've had since like high school, elementary school, because I'm crazy like that and keep all those things. So 
definitely want to knit more for myself because they're beautiful, replace all my socks. Um, these are really nice. Arweta is really, 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 really nice. Um, I'm very sad that I can only get it on Etsy, but your girl's got to do what she's got to do. Um, it is, I think, Superwash Merino Wool and then Nylon. So they're great for socks, great for gifts because it's Superwash and you don't have to worry about your friends kind of, um, shrinking their stuff. So very excited about this. I'm going to like wrap it in like a nice bow going to be gorgeous um but yes finish those really fast and I kind of want to do kind of want to do like more little pieces I've been like really into kind of make little pieces because I don't want to start any more big ones until I finish all of my other big ones so um yes I guess we're on to kind of things that I am working on currently so I got <laughs> I got really tired of just like just knitting the same things I guess over and over again so I told myself it was okay to start that one because it's a Christmas gift but also start just like a small little itty bitty project that I could probably finish really fast so um if you guys saw in my mystery bag oops um I got that weird like linen fabric like that looked like hay or whatever so I ended up winding them they look like this they smell kind of odd um so this one was like the really hay one <laughs> linen uh this one was the one I really was in love with that I couldn't quite figure out what it was uh, but I still love it a lot and then this one was one I was kind of winding up during that video and it also was kind of miscellaneous so I decided I was like these would all be perfect for the French market bag <laughs> because I just couldn't see myself wearing that like linen one. It just was kind of, I don't know. It, it just didn't look like something that you could wear. Um, so I improvised, started making it, and this is what I have so far. So it's not a lot, but I'm almost like, I got like 10 centimeters here and I have to make like 14 more. So I'm like, like halfway. Um, but this is kind of what it looks like. I'll show you close up. Um, the, the knitted stitch is, um, what's it called? Knotted open work pattern. I think that's what it's called. I didn't realize how nice it was. Like, it's so weird seeing like other, I guess like knitted patterns when you've been doing stockinette for so long. Cause like to me stockinette is like the way to go. It's so beautiful, like ribbing, beautiful. But then when you do something like this, it just like makes you realize how flipping cool knitting is. And like the bottom was freaking crazy as well. It's kind of just like increases like every like, um, like you, you increase at an even interval and then it will create kind of like a circle. Very, very nice. Um, the fabric, because of that weird linen one, I think there's not a lot of give or not a lot of stretch. So I do have to knit it quite loosely because for this knitted pattern, you have to pull over like a stitch over two um to kind of create like this you have to put it over two so um it's been tough <laughs> it's been hurting my fingers um but i think it's beautiful i think i want to make a black one because <laughs> i've seen people make like two versions of the bag um but we've been working on it i just really want to finish this because if i have leftover i'm not going to know what to do with it so I would love to do it. Um, I am kind of surprised though. It feels a little small, the bag. I don't know, I guess I thought the bag was gonna be bigger. Maybe I'm just big <laughs> compared to Petite Knit. Like, Petite Knit looks so tiny. Like, the bags just look like ginormous on her. Um, uh, versus me, I'm like, this looks like, like a little, like a little bag. Like, this could fit, like, my water bottle and, like, maybe a wallet so um yeah I think it'd be really good for projects though because like even like looking at it now like I can fit like my skeins and probably like a little project in it so like just to have like an extra bag and I'll probably buy her leather straps 
um, because I have not been able to figure out where to get leather straps or how to make them myself. So uh, we'll probably do that. I love it. I think this color mixture was 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 a good idea, Tiffany. So <laughs> initially I was going to do it with raffia because I have this like spare raffia that I've been trying to figure out what to use and I was like, this would be the perfect project. But then when I try to cast it on, it was just way too rough. Like I don't think, I don't think I could ever knit with this. I think this is more of a crochet thing. So like I have like raffia here as well. I think I'm just gonna crochet with these because they're just, there's just no fun to knit with at all. And I'm all about the fun, the fun of knitting. So, <laughs> okay, that was my newest project. Things, I guess, that I've made progress with. Um, I don't know if I showed you guys, but I've been making progress on the November jacket. Uh, very good progress indeed. Uh, but is it slowly killing me? Yeah. Um, Oh shoot, it's tangled in my cart. No, don't be tangled. Okay, it's fine. We'll just fix it later. So, um, I showed you guys I did the back portion. <laughs> you can barely see that. <laughs> the back portion. Because I'm knitting these on the smallest cables. <laughs> I think it's like... Eh, this looks like it's a 60. There's no way this is a 80 centimeter, but... Um, we've been doing this very strugglingly. Strugglingly? That's not a word, that's not a word. Um, and so I finished the backing and then I have also finished, I attached the front, both sides. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just laughing at how I'm, okay. It kind of, it's gonna look like this, okay? It's gonna look like this, okay? Okay. Um, so we got this guy, I'm in love, like literally in love with the border. You knit the border together while you're knitting the brioche. Um, but it's very nice. It's double. You got that double knitting. Double knitting is my love. It's my life. Um, and so I'm just starting to put it together uh, and doing the body. Uh, and so I'm going to leave the body for November because I'm so scared. Like, because like this is just up until like this armpit part. And like, I really want to make it really long. We don't know how that's gonna happen. So I might give up and then just start doing an arm. We'll see uh, how my patience is, but I need to persevere. If we don't finish this by December, we will be sad. We will be very sad, um, but I really like the color. I love the rustic of it. Um, it's so rustic, in fact, that if I make a mistake, it's very difficult to see. And um, I really like these, whatchamacallit, the shoulder. The shoulder, the shoulder got me. I think it's a great shoulder. I love how it decreases like that. Uh, it just looks really seamless and it looks like store-bought. So I think this one will look the most store-bought um, out of all my pieces if I do finish it and make it beautiful. Cause even like these pockets look so profesh. Like I'm very excited about this one. Um, and I really do like doing brioche. I think brioche is very fun, especially if you do it the continental way. If you do it normal English, no fun. Continental, very fun. Um, I think uh, I will, ooh, I'm going away in December because my boyfriend's family's going to Whistler and I'm going with them. So I might bring this project with me and just like kind of knit it nonchalantly, I think on the mountaintop, like would be really cute, so. That is the plan for this one. Okay, I'm trying to figure out what is happening with this one. Okay, anyway. So, that is what we have for this one. And then, not super exciting, but might as well show you. We have um, the Jenny jacket. Okay, sorry, I had to stop it because my thing only uh, films in 30 minute intervals. Um, but, we finished one sleeve. <laughs> Again, this is the Jenny jacket, not the Jenny sweater. She just, Petite Knit, just came out with the Jenny sweater. I'm not knitting it. I don't think I can do another smock ever again in my life like this. Um, this is just way too intense, not gonna lie. So if you are gonna make one, choose one or the other. Don't you dare choose both. It'll just be like hurting yourself internally. So uh, I finished one sleeve. 
very very nice very nice indeed wonderful increases here I guess I'll just show you how it looks like um, but yeah beautiful heavenly I just attached it to kind of the body so that's what's gonna look like I have yet to finish the other arm so that's why this one is kind of like just sitting here while I begin the second arm which I haven't because I'm dreading it <laughs> and I don't have enough free needles I think yeah because I need a three no I need a three and a half and my three and a halves have been busy 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 so that's how she looks like I think it's gonna be gorgeous Loki I would wear this to my wedding if it was like a winter wedding this would be it. Um, okay, so I think those are all kind of progress updates. All the other ones are kind of just not, there's just no progress. So um, I actually do want to mention I am working on a collaboration with Little Wings Fiber. Um, she's like the sweet 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 girl that messaged me and she sent me some of her yarn and we're working together so I can make some patterns for her so I guess I might as well show you guys the progress I have for one of the patterns so the yarn is called um Pemberley that's the color it's the Pride and Prejudice kind of collection it looks like this caked up I just fell in love with it just those little peaks those peaks of like pink they're just so, I don't know, just like cute and like innocent, pure. And so I'm mixing it with this pink mohair that I got from Color Mart. You know, we love her. Um, and I'm trying to make, okay, guys, this is very ambitious of me. But I'm trying to make a bag, like a cute little tote bag that kind of looks like the Prada bags. So it has been a progress. Like, I feel like I'm an actual engineer. <laughs> making this one but this is the progress um hopefully I can make a video about it but I've knitted so much of it already because like there's just no time for me to like turn on the camera and be like hey guys look at what I'm making um so um we'll see if I can get it but this is what I have so far I have like the front sections like the bottom I haven't finished this is what it looks like on the inside but I plan on making uh, another guy here and then kind of like a strap not too sure if it'll work out I've had to add like kind of plastic um, kind of um, what's it called like a canvas a plastic canvas to each of the sides to keep it for, for, like to keep it staying up or else it will just droop um, but I think if I can get it looking real cute we will be golden. Um, I had to incorporate a little bit of crocheting to put the pieces together, but oh, it's very, very nice. I'm very scared though that maybe it's not as nice as I think it is. Like maybe in my mind, like I think this is cute, but like to everyone else, it's like, Tiffany, what are you trying to do? Like this is too ambitious. Um, so hopefully I can get this out and then I'll make a pattern for it. Uh, it's probably, yeah, again, it's like the craziest thing I've ever knitted, and I don't think I've ever really seen anyone make something like this, so I've been having a lot of fun experimenting, but it has been taking me a really long time, uh, but I think it's just like the cutest little pink bag, like, I don't know how I'm supposed to wear this out, like, like, this would be, I don't know, would I put this, like, inside a bag, or, like, just wear it by itself, who knows, um, but we love it. Uh, I just need to figure out to make sure that it will stand up and be useful. Because if it's not useful, then there's no point in knitting this. So, update on that. And then she also sent me another color. Oh, no. I think I just dropped some of the stitches. Um, she sent me another color, which I will show you. Which I plan on making, like, an adorable top for. But this is how it comes in. Oh my gosh, I have like, oh, I like don't often work with hand dyed yarns. So when she offered to do this, to do this collab, I was very excited. So it looks like this, it's uh, 100 grams. I got the fingering weight, but she does other weights. Um, you know, I just love, 
I just love fingering weight. Um, this is in the color Jane. It's like not perfect, but you know what I mean? Like it's like it has like these variegated kind of areas, which I think is so, so freaking cute. And like little speckles. I want to make kind of a square top, square neckline top. If that makes sense. Uh, we'll see. This is 100 grams each and we will try my best. But it, it I have not been able to knit quite a bit. Um, and I haven't been wanting to start too many projects, so this one will be next. And I'm very excited because it's very cute. So you guys definitely go check her out. Um, yes, she's going to launch them very soon. And I'm very excited to tell you guys more. So on to the other yarns that I got. So um, once I finished the September um, stash away, like no buying yarns, I did a little... I bought a little sum sum for myself just to treat myself. Um, Color Mart has this like cheapest free thing. So if you buy, um, what is it? If you buy, I think it's if you buy three, you get one free or something. I don't remember. It's something like that. So I was like, might as well. Um, for the mystery bag, uh, you guys know I was talking about this skein. Um, not a skein. <laughs> this Hank that came with the mystery bag. It was just like this marled, beautiful caramel with white gorgeousness. I was able to find kind of, um, kind of leftover, leftover, um, cones of it, um, in the cheapest free thing section. So I was like, Tiffany, I might as well. <laughs> um, so that I can use this and then use these guys and make some sort of like sweater like I really really hope this is enough for a sweater I swear to bejesus if you're not enough for a sweater you're not you're not enough so I think it's like uh I think it's like a hundred I think it's like four it's probably like 400 grams no yeah yeah 400 grams for this all together so I'm thinking I can just make a really 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 loose kind of sweater <laughs> Um, yeah, instead of making it too tight, maybe kind of have a bigger needle, maybe add a, like a mohair and then we can finesse a cute little sweater, um, with this one. And I want it to be like high neck, just like all the ones I've been seeing on the internet. Like, uh, my favorite things to wear, she had like, a someone made like a marled sweater 14 and then the Afogoda sweater by, uh, Ca street cafe or cafe streak. I get it wrong every single time, but she has, um, they've been doing marled and I've just, I, like, I want a marled sweater, so sue me. Um, the next things that I got with that was this guy. I just, I bought all the fingering weight yarn on that side. <laughs> this is, oh my gosh. It says it's Newell Oatmeal. I don't know why, but it says 100% cashmere. I don't believe that, no. It's Newell Wool. It's fingering weight, um... I'll show it to you close up. Oh, I, did I show this one close up? You guys can see both of them close up. I was just very in love. Like, you know when you fall in love, you just, and you like don't want to, like you don't want anyone else to have it. So you're just like, I'm in love. That was me. <laughs> so I, oh. it just looked like, it doesn't look like one specific color. I like that look. I like rustic. I don't know what it is. Like, it's like brown but like has speckles or like feels like it's not gonna look exactly the same when you knit it up it's my jam I'm thinking cuz this one I think was like a billion grams wait oh it doesn't say I think it was like 300 300 uh, 340 grams for this for fingering so I'm thinking I want to make like a matching cardigan and crop top set um, just cause I think I saw Brittany Bathgate, she had like a gray one and I was very inspired. So once I find mohair to match with this, you know what's happening. Um, so I'm very excited. I'm very loving the big cone, <laughs> loving it. It makes me feel amazing. <laughs> so, uh, in the, in, on the topic of big cones, <laughs> I got the fattest cone. So this one is hilarious. So I got it all with the Color Mart stuff. It's, they they were like, we don't know what this is. It's like a probably wool. 
um, which I thought was hilarious, but it was like pretty cheap. It's like 800 grams of this stuff. It is so much yarn. I'm so excited. I think initially I was like, I have no idea what to do with this. Maybe, maybe I could, um, I was thinking of um, double plying it, like, like winding it, but then using like two strands of it and then making maybe like a cardigan. But I had a revelation, an epiphany, as you might say. Um, I wanna make a dress. <laughs> Either making like a sweater dress, like it's like a sweater, but it's like fully long. Just, oh my gosh, I feel like that would be enough, right? Because like 300 grams is enough to make like a pretty long sweater, like a, like a good sweater, so. I'm thinking, I'm thinking the extra 500 would give me a great <laughs> dress. Um, and then I'll probably have leftover to do something else, which is like, what are you talking about? This is like $40. Um, and I got some free, so it was really only like 30. Um, I might do a test swatch to see if it is wool. Um, like I might kind of like, kind of scratch it around to see if it um, tightens or what's it called? Shrinks? Um, or felts? What am I saying? Um, so that um, I can just see. I don't want to like put too much time and effort if it's just like acrylic. So uh, I should, I should, I should burn it, see if it melts. If it melts, then it's acrylic. Lots of people are giving me a bunch of tips um, on the mystery bag, which was really nice. I'm scared of fire. So <laughs> Like my, like, like I'm not, like I have a billion layers everywhere because I'm so scared that I'm going to be stranded on like some sort of island and like not have any fire with me. So that's why I have like lighters with me because of that fear. Um, cause you never know. I feel like fire is very handy and I don't know how to like use those, um, flint. Yes. I've watched Survivor. Um, so we will probably do that, but I'm scared that I'm going to burn the house on fire for no reason. Uh, even though I burn candles, like, okay. Anyway. <laughs> don't want to tell you all my irrational fears today so we love this one I don't know what I'm gonna do it but it's like a my white whale no I have a lot of white whales um, like I want to make a blanket like honestly I need to start a blanket like what am I doing Tiffany like make a blanket <laughs> um so <laughs> we have this one uh and that is it from the color mart I actually did end up buying I bought like mohair from color mart because because I have to check the website every day for mohair because I saw the website, it had like white and black mohair and I was like, Tiffany, no, I can't buy it, no. And then I checked <laughs> at the end of the day and it was gone. So I now realize with um, with Color Mart, you gotta pounce uh, because all of like the mystery bags are gone now because you guys just like bought it all up, so. I can't even get any more, which I think is funny, but I probably shouldn't get any more. I think that was a one good deal. Um, but they also had a linen scraps that I was looking at. It was like $30 for like five hundred, like seven, five hundred, seven hundred grams, one of them. And I was like, Tiffany? No, but I don't like linen. So I held myself back. You're welcome. Um, but yeah, I think that's, that is it. Dude, aren't you proud? I only bought like one thing, like one package worth. And like Weir Knitters was having like the 30% off sale and did I buy anything? No. Okay, so from there, I guess we can move on to... Why do I like not even know what I did this month? I'm just like making sure I didn't forget anything because I'll die. Oh, I will say I totally forgot to say I got these guys like a while ago. It is the Bernat Maker Home Deck. I was searching everywhere for these and then finally Amazon um, lowered their price because it was like 20 bucks and then they lowered it to like 14. So I bought a bunch. I know we hate Amazon, but like it's just so easy. So I try to limit myself with Amazon purchases, but um, you just gotta do what you gotta do, unfortunately. Um, so we got this guy. I got two because I really want to make some home decor stuff. Um, De Brasse, she makes a bunch of stuff with this yarn, so that's why I really wanted it. Um, because 
I don't know. I'm like really into that look of home stuff. Um, she has like sunglasses case, like a little pouch, um, like some other things like coasters. So I really want to make those. I think that they'd be great for Christmas gifts. So just bought two of these and I'm planning on making some stuff with them. So I think that is it then. Oh, what am I even saying, Tiffany? Oh my god. Am I for real right now? Did I totally just forget about these yarns? Okay. Um, so, Knit Picks uh, finally sent me their yarns. Like, I don't know why their shipping has just been really crazy. Um, but I finally got my June and August, I think, uh, months. I don't know why, but they forgot my July, like, just completely. Like, don't even have July, so, um, that's okay. Um, but they're so beautiful. So, uh, I got the v Vitalana Oasis in the color Nevada. So, this is what it looks like. It's just, like, this beautiful brown with, like, random speckles of, like, this teal. And, like, I was really scared, because... Like, th this month had crazy colors, and I'm a neutrals girl. Like, I was really hoping for, like, this one or the black one, and then when I saw this in the mail, my heart. <laughs> I was ready to die. It is 50% alpaca wool, 25% Peruvian highland, uh, merino wool blend. Wow. 25% Surrey alpaca. That is way too many blends of things. That's crazy. It's DK weight. It's wonderful. 250 grams for 100 grams feels quite big so I'm not too sure what I'm gonna make with these guys um it's beautiful though like holy schmoly holy schmoly am I in love I definitely don't want to buy more because <laughs> I always end up buying too many of them and I'm like what am I just supposed to do with them all so I'm gonna try to figure out what I can do with just the two and then for I think the August one it is Audine Wool's Mellow in the color Mimosa. It is, here, I'll show you. She's like bulkier for sure compared to the other one. It is 80% Hoikaya Alpaca, 20% Tencel. It is bulky versus this guy, which is DK. So you can see the difference, like she be bulky. Um, again, also worried about what I wanna make with this. It's so hard <laughs> when you only have two skeins. Like, even though it's 100 grams, it's actually not a lot. So, um, I, yeah, I got these, like, probably at the beginning of the month, and that's why I totally forgot about them. But uh, they're beautiful. They're so beautiful. Like, brown? They know me. They know. <laughs> they know who they're sending to. Um, so, I was very, very happy about these ones. Like, ridiculously happy so we're gonna have to figure out what to do with this stuff um i have like a billion i need to i need to come up with more like little pieces like uh if you guys saw okay i'll put it in the bag later um patina came out with the benny gloves i'm gonna try to finesse one i'm trying i want to make that balaclava i need to, i need to make another hat like i need to use up some of my little stuff little yarn boys it kind of sounds like farm boys um because as you can see the stash really be growing like like out of hand uh so we gotta get a hold of myself also i need a question i have a question so for this guy i really want to make like a sweater or a cardigan i don't know which one would be better sweater or cardigan please put it in the comments down below i need to know because initially I was like, okay, I'm going to make a sweater with this, like, cute over, yes. But then I was like, I think this would be way cuter as a cardigan, because then I could, like, wear it over, like, a white t-shirt. And then you could see more of the white t-shirt. I don't know. I don't know why, but I really, I need to make something with this. Because I got mohair. I have this green mohair. I don't know why I'm telling you guys this. That I think would mix really nice. Actually, it totally doesn't look the same, but I think it would give it like a nice little halo. So we'll see. Um, but please let me know. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Should I? You know what? I'm going to have to test this. Because I was thinking of mixing this guy with my 
Nope, not this one. Um, I have this guy. Because I need to make the novice cardigan mohair. But then I think it's going to be too green. But then I don't have enough of these. I only have five. And I need eight, I think. And I can't find these anywhere. Like, I think I bought the last five in Canada, I swear. Um, so, I've been really on the chase. Uh, so if you guys have any stores that no you know of that have three guys of these, either send me the link or send them over to me because I've been struggling. Okay, so there's that. Uh, also, Wool Warehouse was having a sale and I was really tempted. Guys, should I buy something? Please tell me no, but also tell me yes. Because <laughs> the Flora, the Drops Flora is on sale and I really want to try the Flora or like the Fable or, or the brushed... Um, silk alpaca so we've been struggling in that department okay last but not least we're doing p.o box stuff so oh my gosh um yes so we're still doing the square kind of challenge so you guys can send me to kind of like 10 centimeter squares and then i'm going to kind of sew them together i'm thinking i have like this genius plan um it's going on for like however long i really don't care it's it's on forever essentially um until like collect like a billion um but i was thinking of like having like this wall instead of not just um oh sorry i have the cards here the cards are flat because i'm always scared they're gonna fall off but like a wall of just like the squares you guys make me on like this wall and I think it would be really cute like the cutest thing ever so um this girl named Madeline she sent these squares to me um thank you so much girl I literally thought no one was gonna send me squares but they're so cute okay so this one's the first one it's like a bubble stitch no I don't even know it's like almost a bubble stitch but it's more straight and I love the color she chose like she mixed like is this a mixture no i think that's just the yarn i was gonna say it was a mixture of white and green but i really like that one no no she mixed it no or maybe it's just why am i having such a hard time with it maybe it was already striped anyway but anyway i'm in love with it it's so flipping cute and then she sent me the sweetest thing girl girl madeline thank you so much she didn't add like a card or anything so all I have is your name and address. Um, but it's so sweet. Like, I think I should, like, combine these together and then, like, smack them on this wall and just have them just displayed. And I think that would be really fun for the knitting podcasts. So thank you so much. We love it a lot. And then, okay. And then we got this other gift. This is low-key the sweetest thing in the entire world. I need to find where I put it. Um, Tiffany, I literally had it right here. Um, okay, it was underneath all of the pile of stuff, but, um, this guy named Daniel. Daniel, hi, <laughs> thank you so much. You're so sweet. You really did not have to send me this. Um, but I hope you're watching this and thank you so much. Um, it means a lot because I have never... I've never gotten one of these for myself. So he actually sent me a Rowan like magazine. I've never owned one. I've never owned like any sort of knitting book. Never gotten one for myself just cause I don't know. <laughs> I think they're just really expensive. But uh, he got a second one because the first one came kind of like uh, wet or something, but then it dried. So he sent me that one, which I thought was hilarious. Um, and it just comes with like a bunch of oh, a bunch of patterns. Like I'm literally gonna cry. It's like the sweetest thing anyone has ever done for me. Um, so I have just been like awing. Because like Rowan is like really expensive yarn. And so to have a magazine just feels crazy. Um, I've been really eyeing. There's oh, I love this shawl. Like I wanna make a shawl, guys. Um, so I might do that with some yarns that I have. Um, oh, I want to make this one so bad. Maybe not with the tassels. I don't know about that red. But, um, ooh, come on, get away that shine. But it's kind of like a, like a zigzag almost with like 
with stocking it in garter stitch, which I think is really nice. It has like a poncho. I was eyeing the table lining thing. It's a runner. Can you see that? I've been eyeing that one. That one looks so nice. Um, and like this color blocking scarf. I really want a color block scarf. Can you see that? <laughs> um, Matilda Ditturf. Uh, she had one. I saw a picture of her in one and looked gorgeous. So I've been eyeing that. Oh, and then I'm also going to show off this other one, which is gorgeous, 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 that I really want to make. It's this funky and fresh, this guy. I don't know how, I don't know who, but I need it in my life. I think the color, like the color work would be the funnest thing to do. And I really like the puffy sleeves of it. I don't know. So hopefully we can do it. This is the nicest thing anyone's ever. It's like the nicest thing ever. So thank you so much. Um, you don't realize um, how sweet you are and how thankful I am. That's so sweet. Okay, so anyway, this is it. That is the end. I think that is all that I have um, for the knitting podcast. Um, thank you guys for sticking to the end. I know it's quite, quite tedious to listen for an hour, but I hope you had fun knitting or fun doing whatever you do while you watch these and hang with me. So, um, yeah, you guys can check me out on Instagram, YouTube, my second YouTube channel if you want to see more of me because I film like for an hour and 30 minutes twice every week. So you really do get lots of content there. Um, and yeah, on Discord, I post here. Um, I feel like I do other stuff too, but it's just an endless amount. So uh, if you guys want to check it out, just link is everything is in the bio. So thank you guys for joining and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>